Okay, give it up right now. Oh, Adam's hand in the air. Please meet me in the back and give it up right now for Jeff Johnson. Right. <clears throat> okay, so like Jason Patrick, who came up here earlier, I also did stand-up comedy for the first time five years ago on this stage. Um, something you need to know about me right off the bat, I'm a really horrible person, and here's why. As I get older, and I have difficulty staying awake past ten, I start to think that if there was a way to harness the energy of small children and absorb it myself, I would do it. <laughs> Even if it drained the life force of the kids. So basically, if I could do it, I would become something that Buffy Summers would have to kill. And there'd be no hesitation on her part either. I would not be a recurring character. <laughs> I would be a one-episode-and-dead kind of Buffy monster trying to explain that shit to her. Uh, well, let's see, I can't stay up, and I'm starving. <laughs> Grr, <laughs> I, um, I love uh, video games, and, uh, yeah. uh, and I'm always looking for a, like, an arcade that has, like, old-school games that I grew up with. And I was driving around, uh, like, five, six years ago, and I came across a Chuck E. Cheese. And, well, I gotta check it out, right? So, I mean, when I, when I was growing up, Chuck e, Chuck e. Cheese was, like, the place to go for video games. I mean, nothing else but video games. They had two levels, and they, they had a sit-down tail gunner. It was... Awesome. So I, I, I uh, park the car, I go inside, and I don't know at what point Chuck E. Cheese became a uh, nightclub rope line situation, but there was someone there to greet me, and apparently this is the mini boss I have to defeat to get to the games. And so she's asking me questions, and I'm, I'm like, what do you, I, do we, I just want to play, the, I just want to see what games you have. So anyway, she lets me in, and I'm walking around. And I could tell right away the games are mostly newer. Like, they were all newer, actually. There were, there were no classic games, and I was already losing interest and trying to think of a way to gracefully exit after the fuss I raised. And I turn around, and all the employees are staring at me. Like, in a line. <laughs> rope plane woman and three dudes, each ten years older than the other, in a line, like literally a generation's worth of Chuck E. Cheese employees staring at me. And I'm like, what are you staring at me, what are you staring at me for? This kid's like running around. I mean, I'm an adult. What are you... Uh... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, witness the creepiest exit ever. <laughs> Um, okay, so I'm going to close with um, one joke that I did from my first uh, Joko set, which, uh, which I still like. I'm sure you're all familiar with International Talk Like a Pirate Day. Uh, basically, well, it's not that complicated. It's Talk Like a Pirate Day. Whenever I participate in Talk Like a Pirate Day, I do this. Say, is that a Navy SEAL with a snipe? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. The sea monkeys are the best audience. Thank you so much. Nails, putting the microphone back, everybody. Jeff Johnson.